um i look crazy not the best way to start the vlog but i was freezing cold and had to put my robe over my clothes and i also have a lip mask on that i just i look a mess i decided to start today's vlog because it's gonna be a very christmasy festive week vlogmas <laughs> as if I could ever do vlogmas. Today I have plans, I'm going ice skating, no, drunk ice skating. Being 21, so fun. So I'm meeting friends at this like winter, shit, at this like winter Christmas themed place, I don't know what it is, but they have an ice bar where like you go in, it's freezing cold in there, everything's made out of ice, you're like in an igloo, even the bar is made out of ice. You drink, you look at Christmas lights, and then you ice skate. I love vlogging, vlogs the only YouTube videos I watch, literally the only videos I don't watch anything else. Honestly, I just want to be a vlogger, so that's what we're doing. Last week you saw the vlog, I was not okay, I cried. Okay, a lot. <laughs> this past week, I've been so social. Like, when I tell you I went out every single night of the week, it was the last night of the term, so everyone was going out. I went out with like all these new people that I met throughout the semester that I've never hung out with before, and it was so fun. So, it went from sad era to social era. I just, oh, I should have brought you. I just got my nails done. Look how fucking cute they are. And I got my toes the same red color. Anyways, now I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll like pick out an outfit with you and stuff because we have to look cute and be bundled up and warm and cozy to go to the ice bar. I just finished getting ready and doing my little TikTok I had to make, but now I have to pick out an outfit. I need to layer up. I think I'm gonna wear leggings with jeans over, long sleeve, tight top with a sweater over, with a jacket over. I don't know how to layer, I live in the desert. Also, I love ice skating, it's so fun. So I'm very excited to attempt to drunk ice skate. I also have to Uber to this place and it's like 30 minutes away, which is really unfortunate. Okay, my Uber's on the way. This is what I'm gonna wear. I'm wearing leggings under my leather pants, black top from Cotton On, this really fluffy, warm coat from Fashion Nova, and we're off. I hate long Ubers, I hate when they talk to me, that's so mean, but I hate it. Guys, my Uber, we were in standstill traffic for like 15 minutes, like we didn't even move a single inch, and he's like, I'm gonna need you to get out. I was like, what do you mean, we're not there yet. I literally had to get out of the Uber, and now I'm walking by myself. Are they allowed to do that? I don't think they're allowed to do that, but I wasn't about to be like, no, actually, I'm gonna stay. So now I'm walking. I don't, I don't know what just happened. He literally kicked me out because he didn't want to wait in traffic. Go oh, run through the snow. All the kids. <laughs> oh my God. It literally went straight in my mouth. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's where we're gonna go ice skating. Oh, baby. A lot of children, a lot of children. We have to put these giant coats on to go inside this ice chamber. We just got in a line for- We're in a random line. We don't need And they all have these big coats on and we don't have them yet. <laughs> but these people walked out with shots in their hands. So that's where we want to So it looks like a good sign. Got our long parka on. I actually am feeling quite claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, let's show you. <laughs> My neck, like I, I feel like I can't breathe up here. It's a little, a little claustrophobic. I don't have gloves too. My hands are gonna be freezing. Going in. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually ice in here. <laughs> my hands are already freezing. Oh gosh, just. <laughs> it's so cold. Okay, we got our first drink, and it's neon green. Guys, they're literally doing an ice luge right here. Okay, this is the next one. It looks suspicious as well. <laughs> okay, shot number two. Bro, I don't know if I can take this yet. Taking it solo. <laughs> so much better. Oh, I was vlogging and not paying attention. Running we're out of the ice chamber my hands are actually the most cold they've ever been colder than england and i'm starving snack time. what a beautiful sight but yeah snack time wow guys this nice gentleman gave us french fries for free so so nice it was literally gonna be 12 dollars 12 dollars for this What are we gonna do next? <laughs> Me and Zoe graduated in the stadium. We did. Four years ago. Anyway, we just found random seats. 
to eat our french fries in. I almost ran over like five kids when we were walking here because I'm just drunk and there's children everywhere. So it's, it's a safety hazard. What are the odds I fall and break my tailbone? Very, Very likely. <laughs> okay, we got our skates. Oh, look at us. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God, there's people falling literally everywhere. There's there's people dropping like absolute flies. So he's trying to backwards skate right now to take my picture. <laughs> Actually feeling pretty good at skating. Not to jinx it, but we're kind of good. <laughs> okay, there's the figure skaters. Let's stay out of their fucking way. They're profesh. But we're kind of profesh too. Okay, we are getting off the ice because everyone's falling. I successfully skated. I did not fall, guys. In line to get a spiked hot chocolate. So it's 12.97, they're off. <laughs> oh, Zoe is last away. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Guys, Zoe got proposed to. What's the answer? The prophecy. The prophecy. No. <laughs> oh, oh, she's gonna fall again. <laughs> does it do anything? Oh, it doesn't even change. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, I wonder what her electric bill is. Hi. Okay, it's like two days later. I'm at another Christmas event <laughs> to see if it compares. They just tried to charge us eighty dollars to park. Um, <laughs> we're getting spiked hot chocolate. Again, we're gonna compare them to the last one. This one's like a real place where you get cookies with it too. Cookie review. Oh my god, it's so, good. so good. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 this is the genius. Oh, thank you. Okay, we're gonna skate again. Hopefully Zoe won't fall this time. Do you, do you feel better about yourself this time? No falling? No falling this time. Okay, you gotta chug your drink. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no! She's gonna fall before we even get over here. Absolute Olympic figure skaters up in this bitch. Run, run, run. Guys, we just raced. We were actually going so fast. I'm in the lead. I'm in the lead. <laughs> Zoe, trick! Woohoo! Put me in the Olympics. I think that we could be a figure skating team. Don't you think? Oh, I think. Dream. <laughs> <Train. laughs> Oh, he's leading. I'm, I'd have nothing to grab on you. Oh, this is gonna go so badly. <laughs> we just try to sit on this bear. Oh God. See, I would ride the Ferris wheel, but it's making really loud clicking noises, which doesn't sound very safe. So we're gonna probably skip that one. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a shit show, but you know what, it's okay. I just got out of the shower. It's the next day and I decided that this is our sit-down. I'm gonna build a gingerbread house because I wanna do like Christmassy activity. Every single time I've ever built a gingerbread house, it's collapsed. So I also feel like this could just be a good task to do while talking. Am I really far away from you? This is the only way that I could get you to see the table. Has anyone ever actually eaten a gingerbread house? I feel like no one ever in history. Okay, this is what you build it on. What the hell is this? Oh my God, my camera battery is already flashing. Back to what I was doing. Let's get the pieces. And I wanted to use this segment to talk about what I've been reading. Probably my next video after this, or like sometime soon, is gonna be every book I read in 2022. This was probably one of my worst reading years ever, just because I was obviously traveling for half the year. But I did still read a lot, and there's enough to make a whole video about it, so. But I wanted to talk about what I've been reading recently because I'm actually obsessed. I feel like the past five, months i haven't read any books where i'm like okay i've probably read a few but i haven't read any books where i'm like this is so good like every book i've just been like eh it was okay or it was good but it's like nothing to write home about you know like there's been i feel like i've had like no good recommendations to give until now i feel like i've had literally no five star reads this year <laughs> which is really sad or at least since like the past six months but i started reading Binding 13. Bro, the icing's not coming out. I think I need to like microwave this. But I read Binding and Keeping 13 by Chloe Walsh and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a whole series but I don't know if it's gonna get continued. I need to like really cement this to the bottom. So I'm reading this series. If I don't think the author's planning on completing it. First of all, I forget why I heard something about that. I'm really sad about that because it's so good but it's exactly the type of books that I love. It's a series that follows one couple but there's also found family within that. I really love it. Oh, I put it upside down. Can't do anything right should i even take it apart no but sorry i'm doing a really shit job at explaining the books but it's like found family but 
takes place in high school in Ireland and it's like nerdy girl popular boy trope but like it's so much more than a romance it ha it's if you like the addicted series it's kind of similar to the vibes of that obviously nothing compares to the addicted series to me but like this is definitely comparable in a sense what oh oh we're already collapsing okay not very structurally sound oh my god the roof is the hard part what i'm saying is this the first time a book has made me feel some type of way like a series in a while and i was wondering if you guys if you guys have read binding 13 if you could give me recommendations similar to it because i always ask for recommendations similar to the addicted series and no one has anything comparable ever it's the boys of tallman series but it was i'm pretty sure she was going to continue it with all of the characters of the found family which i hope she does one day but i'm pretty sure she said she wasn't going to finish it and she was just going to do the one couple that was out i don't know i think i saw a tiktok about it i'm not really sure the roof is always the hard part. I'm satisfied with the couple we do have, but I was really, really looking forward to the other couples getting a book because they hint at so many other couples, or not so many other, but like two others. It's like a whole found family trope and it's like their siblings. It's so similar to the United series, guys. Just like younger, like a younger vibe. They have like the family trauma and they all are there for each other and help each other. It's really, really good and I recommend it a lot, but definitely look up the trigger warnings before you go into it because it's kind of heavy but I love it and I really want to read more in the upcoming year that's found family series about like one or two couples with multiple books not like companion novels but like I am gonna read Shatter Me <laughs> I know that you guys have been begging me to read this for probably over a year I have it with me for winter break I'm gonna bring it when I go home for the holidays and I think I'm gonna read it after Christmas before New Year's and I'll do a reading vlog of it it's really long Actually, it's not very long, like the books themselves aren't long, but there's a lot of books. And I don't know what they're about, and I've never read the genre before. But everyone says that it's found family, and I'll love it, so I'm giving it a chance. But guys, why did I just like perfectly make this gingerbread house so easily? My New Year's resolution is to say yes to everything I get invited to if I have no valid reason not to go. If there's no valid reason not to go, then I'm going to go. This whole year, it's upcoming year, and I'm starting early. I've been sticking to that, honestly for the past like almost month now. I've hung out with so many new people. I just like expanded my horizons so much and like really have been branching out in a way that I normally never would because it scares me. So I encourage you all to do it because I've honestly been having so much fun. Like right before I go, I'm obviously very anxious because it's just hard to hang out with new people, you know? Um, but now that I've done it, I'm like, I just feel like I have more friends and I feel like I've done more and I've had more fun and it's so worth it. And everyone, if you get invited to do things, I suggest you go. Or if there's someone you've been wanting to hang out with, I suggest you just invite them out because what's the worst that can happen? Especially now that I'm 21 and people like actually go out. It's been very new experience of being social. Please comment down below your New Year's resolutions. We also talked this about this in my last video, but I said I would talk about it closer to the New Year. So, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I have stuck to that and I have been extra social and having a lot of fun and meeting new people. Like how awesome is that? Also, over this winter break, I was supposed to figure out what the hell I'm doing after graduation. Like, where am I going to live? Basically, because I'm doing YouTube full-time after graduation, it kind of feels like the possibilities are endless of where I can go, except they're not endless because <laughs> I wanted to go to Lo I want to go to London really, really, really bad. But they just don't want to let me in their country, to be honest. Oh, what was that? <gasps> The roof the roof is collapsing the roof is collapsing anyway what i was saying is i don't really know what i'm doing after graduation because my original plan doesn't seem like it's gonna work going to london and i always said i wanted to go to new york but now like my sights are set on london and i just want to make it happen so bad and i just want to travel this summer and i just miss my europe era <laughs> and i want to go back so yeah i still have no update on that also something exciting, my cousin, who I did my huge Europe trip with, if you watch that vlog, she works on a cruise ship. She's like a dancer, performer in like the shows that they have on the, on the ship. So she's been traveling all over the damn world for the past few months. And I think I'm gonna take a cruise on her boat in the spring because I wanna see her and also I wanna go on a cruise. <laughs> Loki might go by myself and then just vlog it. Might be just a song. <gasps> 
guys, what do I do about this place of the roof that won't stay? I should put a lot of icing. That's gonna make it really heavy. This is what I get for getting too confident and saying I should become a structural engineer. Am I stupid? Why would I say that? Well, I want to decorate the roof, but I'm scared because now it's like not secure. This is what I have so far. Okay, this looks like shit. But you know what? I think it might be the best I can do. And on the sides, I try to make it look like snow, but I don't think I got that desired effect. I don't know how they decorated it like that on the box. Okay, my work here is done. Let me do a close up of it. Wow, so beautiful. I'm so talented. <laughs> That's literally so ugly. Okay, it's the next day now. I just wanted to say that my gingerbread house held up through the night. I don't know what to do with it now, but I just finished wrapping all my family's Christmas presents and I was gonna film it, but I decided not to because I was like, oh, they're gonna see it. And then I realized this video is gonna go up probably after they open it or like not in time for them to watch it and then open them. So I should have just done like a time lapse or something, but it's fine. I only got like little things, but now I'm opening all these packages. I got so many packages in the mail just now when I went to go check. I don't know why. So I thought we could open them together. I was gonna open them as I watched the Wells new Vlogmas video. I'm so sad that Vlogmas, is tomorrow the last day? Or do they vlog Christmas day? Oh my god, I'm gonna be so sad when Vlogmas is over. Okay, this box, it says creators on it and I have no idea who it's from. Oh my god, it's from Pinterest. Oh my god, it smells so good, what is this? This smells like man. Oh my god, this smells like the sexiest man you've ever met in your life. Oh, what is this? It's a mug, but it's so cute. Look at that. Thank you, Pinterest. I know that you're not watching this, but thank you anyway. Next, I already opened this one and that's why I wanted to film it. So I just wanted to show you that I got on the Fenty Beauty PR list. Like what? It has the Pro Filter Foundation, Blurring Skin Tint, Glow Enhancer, Glass Balm Lip Gloss, and a foundation brush. This is so exciting. I love makeup and being on Fenty Beauty's PR is insane. Okay, I have no idea what this is. It literally feels like Christmas. Steph, we love seeing all of your travel adventures across the world. We hope these capsules bring you peace of mind for, to all of your routines, whether it's at home or on the go. Oh, this is so cute, actually. These are little travel containers and they're magnetic. Thank you so much. This is from the brand Cadence and it's like these little pods and it's just like a little case like this but it says what it's for on it. Like this says shampoo on it and you'd fill it when you travel and there's, and it's all magnetic and like sticks to each other. That's so perfect for traveling. This feels like a book. It's from Berkeley Publisher and it's called The Fraud Squad. That is such a cute cover. Thank you so much to Berkeley and Penguin Random House. I think this is another book and it's called X's and O's with another cute cover. Those are the two books I got. Oh, and last but not least, I ordered clothes. I ordered clothes from Free People. Okay, this is totally not what I was expecting. I thought this was a corset top, but it's still cute. It looks really wrinkly, but that's like the pattern on it. There's like a floral pattern all over it. I got like tank tops. I don't know why, considering it's winter, but probably because they're like, they were on sale. I got this top, which was giving me very coastal granddaughter. And I just like pictured myself wearing this in like fucking Cape Cod. Do I have plans to go to Cape Cod? No, but now I want to. Like ties on the side. This is a long sleeve top, but like also fancy. Okay, obviously it has the feathers on the top of the corset. And then it's also like long puffy sleeves. <laughs> this is so cute. I can't wait to wear this on like a night out or to a nice dinner. It's just a basic tank top, but like the sleeves are lace. And I just thought it was a really cute cut of a tank top. So that's everything I got. That's the end of my haul. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I have to get ready and film a sponsorship right now for a TikTok. Um, so I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here and then edit it and post it for Christmas since it's a Christmassy vlog. But thanks so much for spending the build up to Christmas with me. This was my little version of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed. If you wanna follow me on my other social medias, they're all linked down below as always, which you should. Follow me on Instagram and see all my cute holiday themed pictures. But I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.